Another sword? Are you serious? Your other five swords aren't good enough? What, they don't stab well or something? Hey, I needed this for work, okay? What if we get attacked by blood elves or something? This is gonna wind up in the stable next to the legendary axe you had to have last stoltis that you never used. I can take out a cave troll with that axe. I have had enough. I want that sword back in the blacksmith by tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll exchange it for some chain mail. It's plus five against nagging. Right? Yeah, how are you, Ashley? Amanda. Amanda, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm great. Awesome. Good. Is Jack with you? Jack? Uh, Jack, no. He's out, you know, with his boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. So, if you were thinking of going on a date with him sometime soon, don't. Because he likes boys. Lots and lots of gay boys. Oh. But anyway, I didn't get to ask you how you were doing. <laughs> you did, actually. It was like the first thing you asked me. You're right. Good memory. Good memory. So you want to go out sometime? You see, this girl had a lot more going on in her mind than anyone could possibly comprehend. A superficial romance was leading her slowly into madness. She would rather end her own life than live an amount to nothing. Kate, we're living right now. Why, what's wrong? Okay, the, uh, the creepy guy in the corner uh, keeps staring at me, making me nervous. Come on. I don't want to leave Dan. Your plane leaves in five hours. Come on, let's get real. Well, let me just say goodbye to him. <laughs> okay, Kate, you're not getting into a relationship with this guy. First of all, your father would kill you. Second of all, he lives in New York, you live in South Carolina. I'm not listening to this anymore. Come on. No, wait, no. Dan, wait, Dan, I love you. <laughs> well, you know, Mom, the thing is, I kind of, uh... What? Mom, I've met someone. Oh, no, it's it's not a lamp or a cat, is it? I mean, because technically you can marry those. There's no law against it. <laughs> no, Mom, it's a girl. Really? I worked two extra jobs and continued cleaning homes but I could never go back to Alexandria Forrester's house again. Work took over my life, but no matter what I did, I always had just barely enough to satisfy the greedy loan agent. Bill began to question me. He was concerned that I was never there and wanted to know where I was spending all of my time. I was so ashamed, but I could never admit what I had done. I suppose that is why he left me.